Hello and welcome to the third part of the Computer Basics course. In this video we will be covering the keyboard. The keyboard is a device for entering text into a computer. It's basically a big board with buttons on it known as keys. On the keys are written the various things they will do. Many of the keys are printed with letters, numbers and symbols. These are what will be entered into the computer when that key is pressed. These letters, numbers and symbols are collectively known as characters. Entering text into the computer using the keyboard is known as typing. The different keys are grouped together according to their function. There are the letter keys for entering letters, the number keys for entering numbers and some of the symbols, and the symbol keys for entering other symbols. The other keys do other things that we will cover later. When you enter text into the computer, the screen will show a little flashing line. This is called the cursor and marks the point where the next character will be written. After the character is written, the cursor moves forward so that the next character will be written after the previous one. Pressing a letter key will type that letter in lowercase. Pressing a number key will type that number. Pressing a symbol key will type the symbol written on the lower half of that key. On the bottom left of the keyboard is the shift key. Pressing this key and holding it down while pressing another key changes the function of that other key. If you use the shift key with a letter key, it makes that letter uppercase. If you hold down the shift key while pressing a number key, the symbol written above the number will be typed. If you press a symbol key while holding down the shift key, the symbol written on the upper half of the key will be typed. The shift key is printed with a small up arrow to remind you that it lets you use the symbols written on the top half of the keys and that it converts to uppercase. The shift key is a nice way to have uppercase letters for use at the beginning of sentences, but what if you're writing a block of text all in uppercase? Fortunately, there is a solution, the caps lock key. When the caps lock key is pressed, it permanently makes all letters typed into uppercase without needing to be held down. To remind you that this is taking place, a little light will light up on your keyboard. To revert back to lowercase letters, simply press the caps lock key again. The caps lock key has no effect on number and symbol keys. Once you have typed a word, you will want to leave a space before the next word. You can do this by pressing the space bar at the bottom of the keyboard. This moves the cursor forward by one space and with it any text that appears to the right of the cursor. If you want to make bigger spaces between words, you can use the tab key. This allows you to align blocks of text into tables. You can start a new line of text by pressing the return or enter key. You only really need to use this for new paragraphs, as when your typing reaches the end of a line, it will automatically continue onto the next. If you've typed something you didn't mean to, you can remove it with the backspace key. The backspace key removes whatever character is to the left of the cursor, including spaces, tabs and new lines. You can remove text from the right of the cursor with the delete key. You can move the cursor to another part of the text you have written by clicking there with the mouse. However, you can also move the cursor in all four directions by using the arrow keys, also known as the cursor keys. Well, those are the basic things you need to know about how to use the keyboard. With practice, you'll soon be typing like a pro. That's all for this third video. I'll see you in the fourth one. Goodbye.